So when I do the couch interviews, probably the most common question that I get from people is, who have you been the most nervous to interview? And, and I think about it, and I'm like, you know, not really anyone until today. Joining me on the couch is my teenage crush, I think my middle age crush as well, Rick Springfield. It is so great to be here with you. That's a very nice introduction. I have to tell you, so, and I'm sure Especially everybody tell, on the couch. I know. It's, it, this, is, it, this is just for you. It's lovely. So I, of course, loved you as Dr. Noah Drake and was one of the people that watched all the time. I lived in Iowa at the time, wanted to meet you. In 83, I moved here, and I got tickets to your concert. One of my friends said, we're all going to go. It was 83, 84. She said, we're all going to go. You get to go. My mother said no. I was too young. Smart mom. And I said, I'm supposed to marry this man, and I've got to get to meet him to marry him. So 30 years later, I finally get to meet you. Are you, still, are you married? No. I'm, no, I'm not. How convenient is that? Let me call my wife. <laughs> I love it. All right, so you are in town for a great show, um, Strip Down. Let's talk a little bit about that show. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a storyteller show. And uh, it came out of uh, my autobiography that I wrote that came out uh, two, year, not, you know, two years ago. And I realized that I do have a lot of stories and that a lot of the stories turned into songs. Mm -hmm. So uh, we thought it would be a good idea to take that on the road. And uh, uh, it's a chance to just sit back and, and relate to the people, uh, uh, the fans, and they ask questions. And uh, we, I do a lot of different songs. There's, uh, I wrote a song especially for the show. And, uh, and there's a song I actually pull out that I wrote when I was 15. This is hmm. Interesting. pretty awful. No. But I had to, I had to, you know, you got to do stuff like that. And it, it's, it's, I get to play guitar. I love to play guitar. So mm -hmm. it's like, we have a bunch of guitars and, uh, um, and it's fun to tell those stories. And it changes every night mm -hmm. based on the energy of the audience. Was that ever scary for you when you first thought, okay, because to perform for the audience is one thing, but then to really open yourself up. And, and this is a really intimate setting as well. Yeah, I, I um, there's a part of me that likes that, the, the extrovert likes that, that. If I sit down and think that I've got to do this, I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. But there's part of me, the same guy that gets up on stage with the band, is, uh, it, it, it's, um, I, it, honestly, it's probably the guy that craves attention, the pathetic little guy that craves attention <laughs> in me. It's just part of me, you know. But I, I do love to relate. That's the only way I can really relate to people, because I'm pretty shy in my, in my personal life. Mm -hmm. But that's the reason I tour is uh, the audience connection sure. and this and this live this uh, solo show is very very one on one mm -hmm. and I was a little nervous at first I wasn't sure how it would go over but uh, I like I said I love to play guitar and I like to everyone likes to talk about themselves well, sure yeah. um, so you're best selling author with your memoir that you wrote late mm -hmm. late at night which I have by the way I like the audio version because oh, it's yeah. actually you that narrates it mm -hmm. and what amazes me is that your memory recall of things from your childhood is unbelievable. I'm like, I don't even remember anything I did at eight years old, I don't think. Well, I, if you focus on it, it's all back there. It really is. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go away. It just, uh, you know, gets filed back further back because you got to use, you know, deal with the information that you need right away. But mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, th I had the same issue, too. I thought, how am I going to remember all this stuff? But you think about something and then you go to sleep and you wake up with a lot of, you know, the, uh, the, the boardroom back there brings the files up, mm -hmm. and uh, it was uh, a lot of fun because you rediscover a lot of stuff by doing that. Sure. And um, and I've actually just written my first novel that's coming out in May too. I know, magnificent Vib vibration, right? Is mm -hmm. what it is. Now, tell me a little bit about the cover, because is that art that you've done, or you? I know is inside there's a drawing in, that you've done too. Inside there's a, there's a bunch of I did some art inside because we we, want, we wanted to make it uh, different, a little different. So um, I had this idea of doing a few drawings mm -hmm. and um, and uh, it grew into like 20 or 30 drawings because <laughs> I loved at the end of like all the uh, the, the, the Christopher Robin books you know uh, yeah. uh, Winnie the Pooh where they at the end of a chapter or at a point they'd have a little the old books would have a little black and white drawing and mm -hmm. I loved that mm -hmm. and so I've, I've done that my, my book is uh, it's dark humor mm -hmm. that's a um, so there's a lot of funny Draw, weird drawings in And this there. is a fictional book, that yeah, your first novel yeah, that you've it, done. Yeah. Please, after burying my soul in the autobiography, <laughs> I'm glad to be telling, you know, <laughs> yeah. making stuff up. Sure. Um, but, you know, every oh, writing always comes from a moment of truth or po points of truth. And there, you know, there's parts mm -hmm. of me all through the book. Um, but it really, it, it starts out uh, 
this guy is 32 years old and he's at the end of his rope and he's just had a brutal divorce and and uh, he thinks it's all over and then he steals this book from a bookstore hmm. called Magnificent Vibration and he opens it up and there's a handwritten note on the inside that says 1-800-CALL-GOD. So he does and it goes basically downhill from there. Wow. I can't wait to read it. Now, will you tour and do book signings for that? Yeah, yeah. We actually just finished the audio book of it uh, yesterday. Oh, good. I came here, yeah. Do you narrate that one as well? Yes, I do. Oh, I will have it. I will listen to it, then I love it. It's very, it's very emotional because, you know, you do put a lot of yourself in, into a right. story. And the autobiography, I found this too. I'd have to stop because the emotion would get too much. Right. And I, and I was surprised that it came up in, uh, in the novel too because mm -hmm. I do, you know, there, there's, there's, had to call a couple of people and say, I borrowed from your life, yeah. is it okay? <laughs> but I hid the name, I didn't say who yeah, it was no, from. I didn't say who it was, but I, yeah, just, you know, um, experiences that, that you use uh, can form ideas in the story. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm excited for that one. All right, so what do you do in your spare time? What's um, fun for you? What do you enjoy? I like to write. I mean, that's what I do for fun. Mm -hmm. I write, I uh, um, play guitar. Um, uh, to really relax, I just have a glass of wine and sit in a jacuzzi. It's about the only way I can relax. That's my favorite. It stops. It the stops voices. the noise, yeah. right? No, I can understand because you can you can really sit down and relax. For me, it's always on a patio. It's outside on a patio mm -hmm. with a glass of wine, and then I can relax. And yeah. Stop the noise. That's what I think. That's the, the the good side of alcohol. There's a lot of downsides, and you know, I, but um, uh, for me, it it, it helps because my chatter is just nonstop. Yeah. The yeah. boardroom is never, never quiet. <laughs> well, it has been great to talk with you. Thank you. It's been great to meet you. I, I'm not quite as nervous anymore. But no, you're doing very well. I didn't think she was nervous at all. Totally. I even had notes. I don't usually have notes. Even. Wow. I know. And I, didn't, I don't think I looked at them. You, went, you winged I, it. You did excellently. Thank you. All right. All right. Back to you guys.